voicing to use in your blues playing. Um, in 2010, myself and my band had the great pleasure of opening for Robert Cray. In actual fact, I got him to sign the back of my guitar at the headstock here. And, um, you know, I've been listening to Robert Cray for for many, many years and also watching him uh, play live. I noticed he, he has this little great chord voicing that it's very very easy to use but you actually don't see or hear too many other guitar players doing so it's actually very very distinct in his playing and part of his his sound what he does and it's a very very easy little chord shape to add uh, so basically it's a, a D7 shape so we're thinking of a, a D7 chord but if we just move that down strings it becomes an A major 7 so instead of being on the first three strings 1, 2 and 3 we're now on 2, 3 and 4 now I'm going to show you this in A minor, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up and the, the root note, the key is the root note is going to be on the B string so it's B10, uh, G9 and D10 so that gives us the, a root note that's going to be on the B string root our 5 is going to be on the G string and our minor third, making it the minor chord, is on the D string. But the important thing, or the, the really the trick, is that vibrato that you add to it. And another thing, what you can do is you can either um, strum it all at once. But it doesn't actually sound as good, and I, I noticed what, uh, what he did was he tended to play the notes uh, more individually. Or even pick and use the fingers. So you get this raking sound. 